What is up, everyone? It's Nicky J here, bringing y'all another podcast. Um, it's been a minute, of course. I know I've been due for it, and I know I'm riding solo right now. No one's here with me. It's me and my humble abode, me in my own room, just me and the microphone, me and you, you the viewer, you the Nicky J fan that watches my videos. Let me talk about that real quick. God, first off, this is going to be hard. Um, wait, I didn't even finish my intro. This is episode... First podcast by myself. I don't even know my own fucking episode. Uh, this is episode six of the Nick, Nikki J cast. <coughs> and... <clears throat> it's It's been a minute, because I've been going through a lot, uh... In life, obviously, still living in Michigan, getting reacclimated. Uh, I got a new job. I've went through a couple new jobs. <laughs> uh, new career choice right now. Um, I won't disclose where I'm working at, uh, but just know, Nikki J is in a better place than he was three months ago, four four months ago. I mean, two months ago, even, you know, I'm so thankful for where I am, the the job that I have. I just want to get that off real quick. One of the first fucking uh, main things, <laughs> big shout out to uh, Pepto, <clears throat> the homie Cooper. You see him in the videos. Um, he's been on the channel a few times. Uh, he got me the job, and I've just been going every day since slowly making new friends yada yada uh it's just been a great experience so far with the new career <clears throat> and i can't and i can't thank them enough because like i just the the blue collar construction field i've been in it for about like three to four, four years i was just <sighs> man there's a there's a conversation for that for sure but i can't have that alone but i will just say like coming from from there starting <clears throat> day one the first thing my master electrician told me or asked me a couple questions he, he asked he said do you have a felony he said uh have you ever been in jail have you uh he's like uh have you ever had a divorce he's like oh shit well good luck then because that's the majority of the construction world. It ain't happy, happy-go-lucky out here. So I was just like, fucking 18-year-old, not 18, 19, 19, 20-year-old me just doing that shit. Just uh, doing it to toughen up or some shit, you know? Shit like that. And <clears throat> I, I never really expected to fall into it and keep doing it i guess you know um it, it, it's great everything i learned and i'm gonna take all the you know things along with me but you know i, I just want to say i pray every day i keep this job that i have now <laughs> um like i said not disclosing um but again you know those who know know uh, you know, big thank you to everyone that I've met at the job too. I've also uh, kind of you know made some friends, m new friends at the job. They've you know checked out the channel. Some of the new subscribers, welcome. Uh, you know, <coughs> it's it's really. I didn't really like. We've had like after work, like like I'm I'm sit I'm inside. I'm sitting down. I'm. I'm I'm not breaking my back anymore. That's that's plain and simple, right? And the people that I, you know, work with, we every Friday we go out, we hang out at like B Dubs or some shit like that, and get some food and BS about our week and shit like that, and <clears throat> and it just feels like normal again. I don't know how to put it into a another word other than that, you know. The blue collar world, like you just like struggle to climb in that rank, 
not really not everyone okay like i understand pe some people got it some people don't for sure but like <clears throat> uh i don't want to just keep doing that till i'm like 40 fucking years old <laughs> so i might go back i don't know that just depends where i see myself and what the world brings to me in the future you know and how my cards are dealt so um <laughs> yeah I, I i get kind of speechless sometimes like the the only reason why i haven't been uploading so much and the only reason why i have been streaming by the way uh twitch.tv slash nikki j twitch uh right there right right in the right in the description down below so uh remember that the only reason why i've been <clears throat> putting off the podcast and putting off some of the uploads um or a vlog is because i'm getting adjusted to this new job i got a new phase in life i'm trying to get my schedule right you know and i'm stacking my paper doing a lot of overtime not a lot but like when when it's offered i i gotta do it you know so um what else yeah it's just hard to get the videos out sometimes and um to anyone that's waiting on an edit or anything on me um i shit you not bro i've been working on those and also i had a bunch of shit recently for some reason me and a couple of my friends this sounds crazy totally subject change let me just set, tell you real quick um I was working on a bunch of edits, right? And they're saved. The reason why I say that <clears throat> is because all my files just fucking, I, I had no access to them after I had to download this VPN server thing to play Cry of Fear with a couple of my buddies on Steam. And it totally fucked up my shit. So, so I mean... Thank God I didn't put it on my solid state. I only put it on my hard drive, so I had to totally just reformat my whole fucking hard drive. And I lost everything. So all my edits, all the old footage and everything are gone. Uh, so yeah, I took a big L. Big L. Uh, it's not Nikki J, it's Nikki L for that one. So, uh, But hey, it is what it is. We're coming back to it. Um, I'm getting a lot more clips. Battlefield Season 2 is out. We've been playing that. I got a bunch of clips to kind of put on there. If anyone's interested in that. Funny moments with the friend still. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Man, it's just been a fucking mess. <clears throat> the re Basically, what I'm trying to say is the main reason why I haven't uploaded is because... <clears throat> Reacclimating, and yeah just my whole hard drive just got wiped <laughs> so i had to basically at that point start from ground up again so i had to re-download all my games re-download fucking the editing softwares re-log in some shit but thank god my solid state wasn't fucked so everything on there is fine i had some things on there but you know you don't want to put everything on there so <clears throat> but um yeah so anyway um it's been a minute since the last podcast a lot has happened <coughs> i'm gonna be honest <laughs> if you want to know another l me and my homie uh shout out to the homie trillion we actually recorded a podcast together and uh I went back and I was going to put it out, but after I went back and I was about to upload it, I was listening to the sound, bro. The fucking, his audio was so quiet for some reason. I didn't check my audio enough, so it was basically an hour's worth that I had to scrap, but there was no way I could, like, save it. <clears throat> I couldn't extract the audio and shit, so Nikki L right there, another L. You know, Fortnite, Fortnite dance. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, 
and it's just been <laughs> and like it's been kind of like a demotivation type thing you know it's just like you got kicked down you don't want to do another podcast because you, you fucked up on your recording right there so you don't want to go back and do it and like i still i'm going back on our topics right here like i see our ex documentary that came out i was going to talk about that um shit we don't get political over here <laughs> new job no oh, yeah we already talked about that yep check uh streaming i didn't get really into the streaming enough uh specifically like i said nikki j twitch um links in the description <clears throat> basically it's gonna be a lot more consistent over there um i've recently became uh affiliate i guess i think that's the level it's affiliate then partnership and uh so we're starting finally you know uh i'm at the i'm at the ability you know to where you can subscribe you know and <clears throat> gift people subscribers and and shit like that for to watch my twitch so um Big shout out to Kiko, um, member of the community that, you know, made it possible. Uh, just one day I was streaming and then suddenly it was crazy, bro. <coughs> we were playing like Chivalry 2 <coughs> and I was streaming it. And then suddenly I got raided with like 28 people. And then like that's out of like the norm for me on Twitch, you know. Real small time guy, real small time guy there. You know, Nikki J may be a little bit bigger here, but um, <clears throat> the that moment was so insane because I I was telling my homies I was like, yo, I was like, no, I'm streaming right now, and I think I just got raided. There's like 28 people in my chat. My chat's blowing up on my side screen, and I'm like, holy shit. <clears throat> followers coming in so it it was it was insane on a small scale it was it was it was it meant a lot you know so big shout out to Kiko and uh Vinny you know she's the one or Vinny is the one that you know really brought them over Kiko was talking about that uh with him and then <clears throat> thus rating me on Twitch so it was kind of insane. I've never had that happen before, so I figured that was a good story to tell y'all as well. Um, <clears throat> I think I've talked about... I have got to have already talked about life in Texas versus Michigan before with my last podcast. It's a shame because... I try to not go back and listen to my podcast because I hate the sound of my voice. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the only time I do go back and listen to them is in like post edit and shit like that. So I have to sit through and make sure everything sounds fine. So, but I'm not going to go back and make sure that <clears throat> I've already touched upon that topic. But yeah, life in. Michigan still is great versus Texas. I just miss Whataburger. I wish Whataburger was here. And Canes. There needs to be more Canes. Welcome. <clears throat> Papa Squat, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, thank you. Everybody, this is my roommate, roommate and my lifelong friend. Low pain. Or known as Cocoa Puff, originally. Origi originally it was Cocoa Puff. And you went through like... <clears throat> How many names have you had, do you think? <clears throat> Honestly, probably only... Probably... F four? Four, four? Four different names? Four different names I've been known as. Cocoa Puff was the original. The second one was, uh, 
I got banned for it, so we won't say it. Uh, the I third th one? I think uh, it's, like, on my I channel. Rail. I think it's on my channel. Like, it's, it's, it's on probably there. on there somewhere. If I you find remember. it, you'll know. But. It's it's probably no, we we won't we don't have to say it. It's it's in the older videos. That's that's for them to go back and watch. But right. uh, um, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we uh, I guess we should start real quick before we get into what I was talking about before. Um, I guess the beginning. On yeah. How we fucking got here. Yeah. So basically. Um. I don't even know how long, maybe 10, <coughs> 2015, 8, oh, it was longer than that. Well, I I first came here, my first... It was probably a good 16 years we've known each other, I'd say. Damn. I didn't put it into that much. Because yeah. you came here in 2015, so we've already known each other for a few years, and that was before I was 16. You're going to have to go get peanut. Yeah, I know. That was so. Honestly, we've probably known each other for like 14, 15 years. We met playing. Well, I met one of his friends playing Grand Theft Auto 4. <clears throat> and then. We met playing Modern Warfare 2 a couple times. Yeah, from Angela. And, uh, and then we started playing. <coughs> shout out Angela, Ford. wherever the fuck you're at. Yeah, shout out Angela. Um, Waxhead, <laughs> Waxhead 420. Um, I have the. She was. Something. What was her original name? Because that wasn't the, her original. Name. I have the veg. Oh, that was it. That was no, it. it was something else, bro. She had three different names. She had three different names, I think. Cause I remember that one. She had three different names, I thought. No, I'm pretty sure it was just that. It was that, and then Wax said 420. But uh, regardless, we fucking back in those. You remember Cool Guy? Of course, I remember Cool Guy. Bro, I wonder what happened to Cool Guy, dude. Dude, cool he's guy out. He's out there <coughs> somewhere being cool. Was it cool, so. was it cool Guy 87 or something like that? We had this buddy that we played with, and when we played Michael Myers, he yeah, was we kind of like we met him. We met him on Modern Warfare Two. You know who's kind of like? He was really cool. He's kind of like a nicer version of Dennis. Like, mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, oh, for like those a that completely know, completely different but, version of Dennis. <clears throat> uh, yeah, for sure. But uh, we had this buddy that we played Michael Myers with a lot and shit. It's just like became a figment of our, or just like a real. He's just like there, like that, you know, that one person that we'll remember and we'll just be like, wonder what he's up to, you know. For real, last time I played <coughs> when I was on PS3, he was off for like four years. So he must have moved on to bigger and better things. Yeah, to put in perspective, like that's like PlayStation Three days. Like right now, well, that we're was a, a long time ago. Do you remember Ray? Yeah, the I do. guy with the deep voice. Yeah, yeah, that I guy was right. cool as hell. Um, I think I was. Yeah, I remember him. We were. Uh, I think we played some other games too. After that, I can't remember what, but uh, I only ever really remember <coughs> playing Call of Duty with him. But uh, when. Like, yeah, to put that in perspective, like I said, like, think about it. PlayStation 3 days versus, like, right now we're at, like, PS5. And... Most of us are on PC, you know? <clears throat> well, just for the basic people that, that can put it in perspective. I mean, PC's right. always kind of been there. We should have fucking... Right. We should have done that way long ago. Honestly, when you really think about it, we should have been on PC. Probably. Well, you had one for a while, but <coughs> we weren't really on it. And then I got one, and then but no one ever was really no, on it. It was just like it. us two and Anthony, and then and Devin sometimes. And then finally, <coughs> who got who got theirs? I think Cooper got his <coughs> first. No, it was Austin. Austin. 
Austin got his, and then Aiden bought got mine. Yeah. And then it was just a domino effect from there. And then Cooper was the last one. Cooper. No, was Cooper the... got his. Logan got his from his buddy from like real cheap, and then right after that, Cooper was like, "Buy me one." I thought Cooper was the last one. Not like the last last one, but like the last. I guess. Who was the stubborn one? Or not stubborn, sorry. Who was the... Who was the last one to get it? Our P... Like the P... Join the PC Master Race, I guess. Well, Dale waited for Christmas. Matt built <coughs> his after a couple of years. A year or two. Oh, no, I remember Matt. Matt, but uh, like... In that short time span, I remember it was boom, 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 boom. And we were waiting for, like, one more person for a while. Well, I went Austin because he came over and started playing shit on mine and really liked it. So then he saved up his money, and then he came over <coughs> one day and we ordered him one. He had the money for it. And then right after that, right after Austin got his, like, maybe, like, three days, Aiden got mine, my old one. And then I got my new one. And then I think Logan got his from his friends, and then Cooper got yeah. one right after that. Because <clears throat> um, there's no way he was gonna. He he needed it. As soon as Logan got his, there's no way he was gonna sit there and not get one and play with us. Yeah. No. Uh, <clears throat> I just I just think it's funny how like you know like I said. From starting from there to, to now, I remember back then we would play, like, I don't know, GTA, Modern Warfare 2, get off on the PlayStation 3 chat, talk about yeah, fucking... Yeah, the PlayStation 3 chat. Or school, and, like, just our bullshit days that we'd be going through or some shit like that. <clears throat> I'd be saying my mom and dad just yelled at me because I've been lying about what I've been doing in Woodshop. In Woodshop? Yeah, I hate. I'd hate doing all the wood shop projects. You had a wood wood shop. That sounds fun as fuck. I, we one? had wood shop. We had like an auto automotive class. We built engines <coughs> and shit. With what parts they had, a lot of them were lost. You got yelled at for not doing wood shop shit. Yeah. Like what does that what does that entail? Like you didn't. Like, like I was either like just not participating not like doing my project like you'd get like a week or two to do it and <coughs> just be sitting there a couple of days doing nothing so he would like there would be like points that you'd get for the day of just like participation participation mm -hmm. however the fuck you say it no no yeah yeah and he would just give me like low points or no points and shit if i didn't do nothing those days that's funny. I didn't know. But then i'd eventually do the project with like two or three days left because it was like simple and easy Fucking wood shop. <clears throat> well, to to fast forward, I was just talking to them about uh, Saints Row. Saints Row. Yeah. We and, haven't really uh, been playing it. Well, and <clears throat> I was also just saying. I mean, I mean, what do you think about it? First, before I get give my opinion i want you to say something like a so. scale of one to ten just no. a straight i'm just gonna give a straight scale and i'm explain scale of one to ten the brand of review at the point now let me say this we <coughs> haven't gotten a hundred percent into it we're probably what would you say maybe 20 25 percent into the game i don't know how maybe long. i don't yeah, know it how doesn't really story. say i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess 30 percent into the game it started opening up. It's been a little slow at first, I think. I feel like when you're just driving around like free room, there's just not enough like action going on. You can find <coughs> it, but you have to go looking for it. You can't just like you don't ever like run into like something. You know. Mm -hmm. I like the way the map looks. Like I I'm, yeah, I love how it is, how it looks. It's just I guess just. How it I don't want to say it's boring. Yeah, I don't want to say it's boring because when you're in a mission, it's fun. But it, when you're just free roaming, not doing <clears> nothing <throat> else, it's you're. It's like kind of like GTA. You're just driving around. There's really nothing going on. There's and no... plus, it's only two player. I really wish they would increase that from. <coughs> I know that would be <coughs> weird and different because Saints Row has always been 
co-op and only two player online, but well, we gotta we gotta. Think. I think that would bring that game to the next level mm-hmm. if they raise it up to four people at least. We we gotta think about like like I said, where it came from is like it's it's a, supposed to be a semi carbon copy of fake GTA, right? Right. <clears throat> or joke GTA, and we're we're trying to take it now as like a literal like triple A title, like work work of art game, you know? Like, oh, okay, so we. No, I mean, Saints Row Three was great. Saints Row Two was amazing. Saints Row right. One was was good. I didn't even play that. I didn't play it either, but I know. I it like Saints Row Four. Saints Row Four was is where we started to see like, okay, we're. We're we're losing where we came from now. Right. <clears throat> I would agree with this that. This used to be about gangs and make like Not totally about aliens and computers <coughs> and a simulation. Totally it used to be about being a different copy of uh is your is, is your dad looking for you? No. <laughs> no, he's in the back room. <laughs> It used to be uh, a fucking. It used to be just about gangsters, right? You know, and and then if you weren't doing the gang missions and doing that, it'd be doing the things that you couldn't do in GTA, like riding on top of a car, um, just beating someone up with a, a dildo bat, you exactly. know, or um, outlandish ex- executions. Executions, the execute, the, the, the fucking hand to hand, the melee combat, the dubstep Tro- gun, just shooting that over and over. What? Well, that was my favorite. <clears throat> I was about to say in the old one, or no, in the new one, the melee combat in the new one sucks. Like it's yeah, not, it's, it's kind of like just like GTA, it's, like, it's buck, just like your buck. couple punches and <clears throat> a kick. Well, no, even no in GTA you can dodge and counter. There's no right. dodging. You just get hit. You and and you don't have a dodge. You. I think there is a dodge. You have a roll. That's it. There's no fucking. Yeah. <clears throat> there's. Dip. Yeah. There's no counters. There's no GTA. You can counter. Um. Red Dead Redemption. You can counter like these free roam games. Like these, they based like their even against their AIs. Like when it comes to melees. That's. It's just in the new one, it it didn't replicate what the other ones did for some reason. It totally just said, "All right, we're gonna throw everything that we thought thought was good like out of the window. All the good executions and and you know, I wouldn't say like everything, shit. but yeah, they did definitely take out. We're gonna take a different approach. Some a lot of things. They took out a few things for sure. <clears throat> I just I I don't know. I was so excited. And, like, we were excited for it, like, to be fair. Yeah, we were. I was. And I, I don't want to say it's still bad. Go, I don't want to say it's bad either, but like I said, it's not good, so. I feel like if we maybe sit it, well, and plus two, the reason we haven't been playing it, it has been a little buggy. It needs a few updates for sure. Like, sometimes the connectivity, you lose connection, whatever. I mean, you know, that's always a buzz kill. Yeah. So, I mean, <coughs> Once they get some of the bugs worked out and we can actually sit down and enjoy like a good couple hours of solid like gameplay, that would be different. But most of the time we've only sat down and never only been able to play 30, 45, maybe an hour tops. Yeah, play a few missions, do get a few upgrades. And usually by the time we're playing <coughs> too, it's already late. So by the time one of those things happens, it's kind of like, all right, well, <coughs> time to go to bed anyway, so then we just get off. The fucking... You alright, Peanut? Yeah, he always shakes. Um, I like the wingsuit. The wingsuit's fun. Yeah, I like that. The wingsuit's great. Um, you know, it's just... That's my phone. for the group chat for... Oh, okay. Top golf. Um, I just... I don't know. The game's only fun, especially with two people. Yes. I so. will agree. I've played solo a little bit, but it's definitely more enjoyable with a friend, for sure. That's what I'm saying. If I'm telling you, if they, I think if they increase it to four player, I don't think it would change the game dramatically. I think it would just be a lot more fun. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd be able to for sure explore, do a lot more stupid fun stunts and. Oh, for sure, if you have old <coughs> people. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I was gonna, like I said before, I don't think we're gonna see like a DLC or. Uh, I don't know. It's tough to say with these games that come out like and get really bad reception. You know, like like Battlefield, like Cyberpunk, and Cyberpunk yeah. just announced they're about to have a DLC for it too. So yeah. they're about to have an expansion. Um, you know, these games that we consider bad or just like didn't get too. It's just like our personal opinion of what we like and don't <coughs> like. It's not like we're the majority or anything. But yeah. Well. Well, you know, like, I mean, you saw the cyberpunk shit, right? Right, yeah. And, like, you know. I personally launch. didn't enjoy it. I th I liked I th it. Was, I, I was liked it, too. That's the thing. I loved cyberpunk. I played it on my on the PlayStation, bro. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be more like a Watch Dogs type of I liked building game. my character. That's I guess this it was probably just a single player that killed it for me. I just, I, the single player games, it just takes something. <clears throat> Well, I like single player games. That's that's also another right. thing too. You, you're you're a guy that enjoys multiplayer games. When it's got a co op thing, it's like better, you know. It's just more fun to me, in my opinion. I have more fun on it. I enjoy playing with buddies and talking to them. Shit probably still records if it goes black, but I'll just leave it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just I think when you when you get a game like Saints Row, and like right now we're all still awaiting the hype for for GTA, and we keep hearing news for it every month and yada yada yada. <clears throat> I just don't want to subject myself or anyone else, and like I've said in the past, to just because because we do that. I mean because. I hate hearing it from other people. I, I I like I'm okay with Saints Row. All right. Yeah. It's not. It's not garbage. horrible. It's not garbage. It's just not. I'm okay with Cyberpunk. I'm okay with Battlefield. I'm okay. I, I love Battlefield actually. I've been playing that. I like that more than Call of Duty. I won't touch Call of Duty, but I'm gonna play this next COD, and I and I really hope it's good, and I really hope it's good, because I love the first Modern Warfare and I played that. Yeah, the the early Call of Duties, I don't... Well, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about 2018 Modern Warfare. I'm talking about right. this one. Yeah. So, like, this is a, a reoccurrence of that one. So, if it's supposed to be, like, the last one, then we're good. Yeah, because that one was pretty good. I liked the, the guns, the maps, <clears throat> the mechanics... Um, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't jumping all over the place with exosuits and jumpsuits and shit. No, and and then like it, that engine just transitioned into like Warzone, and you know, <clears throat> I don't know what what the Warzone deal is gonna be like. I, I haven't really been keeping up with I know, that. I know I haven't I haven't enjoyed Warzone in a while. It's too sweaty. <clears throat> and that's why I don't get on it. So, I mean, but like, it's just games like those, like Modern Warfare, GTA, we don't even, we haven't even seen a, we haven't seen a, a screenshot. We haven't seen a, a teaser. Nothing. Rockstars just said they're working on it. It's coming. So. When and where? <clears throat> don't know. It's on the way. I think, uh, and I don't, I don't know, oh, you know what, that, remember the, the Harry Potter game we were talking about? Were you there? I don't think so. Did you see that new Hogwarts game, the Harry Potter game that's fixing to come out? Everybody in the Discord was like, oh, we're gonna, yo, we're gonna get the Harry Potter game. Like, uh, what, what, what fucking... Are you going to be Gryffindor or whatever? Oh, you yeah. know? And then, like, uh, two, two months before the release or something like that, single-player game. And so everyone's just like, what? Never mind. Yeah, everyone's like, never mind. So it's just like, ah. Oh. 
Yeah, I, everyone likes some multiplayer games. I don't blame them too, so, I mean, I do as well, but... <coughs> you can enjoy a good single player every here and there. You're not playing with your buddies all the time. No. It's good to have some games that you can kind of just sit back and relax and enjoy. That's why I like the Elden Ring. <laughs> well, I enjoy, but like, I I enjoyed the grind. Yeah, I'm so. I'm kind of sad that I didn't enjoy it. I'm kind of sad too. I was hyped for it too. I was really excited for it. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Um. Another game that came out, that Rumbleverse game, the uh, Rumbleverse. You and Logan like that. You guys haven't played it in a while. Well, that's because I've. We've been playing Destiny. True. His other game, Battlefield. And so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get Logan a game or two. So we gotta get back and play that. I was having fun in that game. That game was great. Um, I was just talking about like recent things that have just come come out and that that we played that that everyone's like, oh, that free game everyone's playing last night. I played a Shadowland. little. Shatterline? Yeah. I played it last night. How was too. it? <sighs> also, I guess, like, here we can talk about this too. So it's good. It's a free game. Let me just say that. Right. So, I was watching them play it for a while. It, it looks alright, yeah, but. They're like, it's the best. What annoys me is that we all. It's the best new free game. It's, it's Overwatch. It's everything we want. You know, it's Apex. It's the greatest game if it, you know, just the selling. You know what they do. Yeah. And so it's just like, it's like, all right, let's see it. And so I played it. It's good. It's great. And it's just like, like I said last night, we just have a lot of games. Or I have a lot of games that I would like to play right now, personally. Right. I still like getting on Battlefront. I still like getting on Battlefield. <clears throat> I like running around shooting and getting a bunch of feeds. Right. You know? Um I still get. I, I just bought the new Spider-Man game for PC. I don't know why, because I played it already before. But fuck it, why not? Um, why not? <clears throat> uh, but like, yeah, I just feel like oh, the Destiny Witch Queen DLC. Yeah, like you know, we just been running through that. We still haven't done the some of the raids in that. We gotta exactly. do the raids. Yeah, that's <clears throat> why. I... I don't, I don't when we get into these get when we get into these like these like oh let's play this game um multiverses Mul that the smash bros game mm -hmm. type you know like look at that now that that honeymoon phase is it's it's i see it it's it's wee like i said so <clears throat> um it's not a bad game. But what I'm trying to say is, like, we've just played too much shit. Yeah. And, like, we can't seem to, like, sit back and just take a moment to just, like... But we always go back to Destiny, you know? Sort of. We do. We do. We always go back. We do. We came back... It's hard to it's get, get six people on to do a raid. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, but, like, it's something that we can come back to, though, is right. what I'm saying. At yeah. least we all know, like, oh, put this game down, we come back, grind out. Let a lot of DLC come out. Yeah. Let the bugs get fixed and then come back and play it. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I'm not too. I, I don't know how much, I'm, how well that game is going to last, you know? It's definitely going to die off when Call of Duty comes out. Oh, yeah. 100%. <clears throat> Do you know if this new Call of Duty going to have zombies? Modern Warfare 2? Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, is it a, I'm asking, is it oh, you're asking. to? Or? No, I don't know. I haven't looked it up or nothing. No, it's I pre-ordered it and I didn't... <clears throat> Modern Warfare, bro. Modern Warfare doesn't have zombies. Hmm, fair. Um, they could switch it up. They could. They could. That'd be awesome. I hope. I don't know. I always wanted a Modern Warfare uh, type zo zombies deal. Um, 
Oh, bro, I was gonna ask you. Um, I didn't even fucking ask. You. So, how is it with uh, me living here? You have any? Uh, yeah, it kind of fucking sucks, yeah, honestly. I was gonna <laughs> no. ask you. You like? Uh, <laughs> like this is your moment. Uh, I don't know. It. Like when we're sitting playing on the game, you kind of forget. Like it's always like we've just been <coughs> doing it for so long. Like when we're on the game, I don't even really think about it oh, until yeah. like I take my headset off and I go lay on my bed, and I can still hear you. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Other than that, I. It's pretty normal. Same yeah, shit. Just same shit. You're just here, I guess. And leave. It's like whenever you visit, but you're leave. Just go to work. Yeah. Come back. Get food. Go do shit. Play games. Same shit. Hopefully we get the fucking get our own place soon. And be able to do that too. That'd be fun. But um, yeah. So all right, I was just making sure. <laughs> it's like, well, I never really asked you. Like, yeah. at this moment, like, is it okay? <laughs> yeah. It's been like how many months? Got here in March, September. About five. Five months. Yeah. Coming up on like maybe exactly five in a day or two or something like that. Yeah, it's it's running it's running close. I know that for I sure. I forgot. I have a picture on my phone the day you got here when I sent it in the group chat. I remember that. Yeah. Um. Uh. I mean, half of these topics I can't even talk with you because like. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know much about. Well, it's like <clears throat> you don't know much about, or you're either indifferent to. Them. Oh, fair. <laughs> so like, like I'm not gonna. Oh shit, the queen. Oh, the queen. The queen, bro. I don't care. I'm sorry. I mean, rest in peace. But like, yeah, I'm not gonna say I, I don't like care, but uh, I don't know. I'm. I'm. It's news. It's news, yeah. It's news. R.I.P. So like, they just, I was upstairs watching the news with my mom earlier that, uh, Prince, I don't even remember. It's Prince Charles, I think. Prince Charles just got sworn in or was making yeah. a statement or something. Yeah, making his, his, whatever. I shall Whatever read. they call it, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what they call it. I see, it's funny because I'd be getting on Twitter and, like, there's trending hashtags <clears throat> and it says, hash, one of, t second hashtag has been ever since she's gone, hashtag in the monarchy. In the monarchy. In <laughs> the monarchy. So, like, it's... You know, she was queen. She, when she turned, she was in her 20s when she became queen. Yeah. She was queen for 70 something years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's nuts. It's a long fucking time. Being the queen of a country. I think... For 70 years. Yeah, I don't... Imagine. And to go through... Wars. COVID. Tons of other... Not just COVID. Tons of other diseases. And yeah, 70 years. The Brexit. The... She's been queen for three times as long as I've been born. It's funny. I, <clears throat> I tell you about when I called my grandma. No. It's funny. I called my grandma the other day. And I told her, I said, Grandma, you outlived the queen. She goes, I'm not 96, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, but you technically outlived her, <laughs> right? You're here. Right? You're here. And she's like, whatever. Good good save. Good save. She's like, I'm not 96, dumbass. I thought it was so funny. But, you know, no, it's a, it's kind of a big deal, though. Still, in a way. Yeah. So, that's, why I, that's why I called her and was like, yo, did you hear the news? She's like, no, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, 96 years old, bro. So, rest in peace. You know, KSI you know does it for her you know that's why that's why we uh that's why we root for you ksi over in these parts mm. i don't know about this guy but it's okay logan paul does uh wwe now so he's fighting jake paul now 
Who? I just heard on... I, I listened... Who uh, is? Jake Paul is fighting KSI. No, Jake Paul is fighting... Um, uh, not KSI. He's fighting Anderson Silva. Oh, his Silva. brother, Deji. No, he, he's not fighting him either. He's fighting Anderson Silva. I just watched a podcast, and he, I thought he said something about fighting one of them. Or it might... It, oh, oh, honestly, it might have been an old podcast. I don't know. Oh, uh, it's probably an old one. Well, no, because... Logan just had had Prime, and he just had Roman Atwood on his podcast, and he said something about Logan fighting. No way, bro. Whenever you Google Jake Paul, it says American professional boxer. No way, bro. Oh, my God. Look, but right there, Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. That's confirmed. Oh, Dana White slams Jake Paul in ears. I don't care about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know how when the podcast came out, but I thought he said something about fighting either KSI. Speaking or of speaking of Dana White, or something. Speaking of Dana White, did you? Well, you didn't even see, but did you hear about the UFC conference? No. So it also got canceled last night because of the time of this uh, upload right now. The Nate Diaz versus uh, Cosmo fight was supposed to happen. The Russian guy mm -hmm. with beard. Nate Diaz is a guy from California, Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah, I know Nate. And uh, he was supposed to fight Cosmot, but uh, Cosmot was supposedly seven pounds over. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. First off, let me say this: Nate Diaz is having a real bad relationship with Dana White. Um, the so since after that happened, Nate Diaz gets a new fight with Tony Ferguson uh, because Cosmont busted weight. He can't fight him. All the all the cards change and everything. Right. And Dana White said he came out. He said, "Hey, I'm sorry, everyone, but I gotta let you guys know I gotta cancel this uh, press conference for safety reasons." Uh, people were arguing backstage, you know, but it's already been. Like, well known that Nate Diaz, is, this is his last fight. Right. He's he's done after this. He's not gonna... He's not gonna do another one. He fucking hates it. He talks shit. He's like, fuck the UFC. It's literally yesterday, he was wearing shoes. He said, fuck the UFC. He's like, look at these shoes. These shoes fucking suck. And he's like, they made me fucking wear these. And I just feel like Dana came out said for the safety of us and others we, uh, we're not going to have this press conference here no Nate Diaz is going to come out there and slam the motherfucking the, the industry and the whole fucking shebang because that's what he fucking does and like he literally like I saw this podcast clip where they fucking said like they met up and they both were supposedly drunk and Dana said it himself he said allegedly we were drunk and we had an argument and he said I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck you a motherfucker and blah 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 and like they were about to get like physical right you know type shit and it was just ridiculous at that point so you know speaking of which like that's that's why I can't wait for tonight's card, card though cause it's all last minute switches and also Nate Diaz didn't want to get his ass beat for his last fight. I, I know right. that. And Cosmod's going to beat his fucking ass if he had to. I hate to be like that, but he's a new... I'm, I, I'm, I'm not a whole into UFC, but... But you've seen him. I, yeah, I've seen a fight or two of each of them. Them boys are crazy. I wouldn't get in a ring with either of them. That's for sure. Neither would I. Um, let me see. Um, are you excited with music still? Does music, like, excite you still? Because, like, I know yesterday we just listened to the Nav album, and I was pretty ha happy about that, but... That's, that's kind of why I was, like, I'm trying to, uh... I don't know. You were really excited, definitely, back in the Eminem era. Like, we were just talking well, that era, you think? 
I wouldn't say like excited. I mean, we've had like this conversation privately before. We've I've, like I've definitely said you are definitely a lot more passionate about music than most people. I would say, or well, at least to me, I listen to more types of. You music. listen to yes, you listen to a whole broad, a lot more. That's why I was kind of saying it's might be kind of hard to ask you this question. So I don't know if you've ever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm like I'd really... say, I, I, like I like new music, but I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't go. Cra- I'm not crazy about it. I like, guess. Like when I know an album drops, like I, I look for the album. You don't know, like you have to be told. Hey, like I said yesterday. Yeah. You know, Nab just dropped a new album. You're like. Yeah, I have oh, no idea. <laughs> like even like when like even some of my like more preferred artists drop stuff, I'm not always yeah, up to you're, date you're not on like when it's coming out or when. Like, it that drops is that is stuff. that is me. That guy that tells you like, hey, you know your boy just dropped. Yeah, it. like you'll know like someone I like way more than you. You didn't know Jed's album before. dropped. No, that. I was online, at like, probably, it was already been out for an hour and a half. I had no idea it was and even I said, hey, coming. I said, hey, there's a new Jid album, and you were like, oh. and, it, and that shit's hard. Spotify. And so that shit is hard, too, so. Yeah, that was that was probably one of my favorite albums that's come out in a long time. It's really tough, though. I can't, I'm trying to think about all the albums that came out this year. So far, at least, because this is work. We're six months into the year. You got to think about it. We're at the halfway. Nine point. months. Nine months. We're September. Way, way more than. You got to start thinking about albums of the year, games of the year. You know, what to find at least, and, and that's what I like doing at least by these years. It's like, ooh, what what came out? All right, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was better. I mean, fucking Kendrick Lamar's album came out this year. True. I already forgot about that. So, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, or like you said, <clears throat> I am, and it's apparent, I am passionate about fucking, I just listen to a lot of music. I, I, that's all but I it, do. But you know, it's not, it's not you, you don't just listen. You know the artists, you know about them, about their life, where they came from. You know, I'd be on the internet though. And well, no, I know that's too. what I'm saying. I don't know how I, you I don't admire see that. that. I don't know I just, how you don't see that though. I just too. don't look for it. I don't look for it. It, it, it just, it's there. I, I when go you when I go on music, YouTube. I look up cars. I look up Cletus McFarland and stuff like that. Yeah, I look up like. I, I'll just go on Spotify I guess when I'm at like, work and I just click on an album and I listen to the music. I don't do anything. I guess I do that. just like music because then I do like rap battles. I know about rap battlers. Right. Like, yeah. See, so you know, like you would like you like look that type of stuff up. I don't. Know. I yeah. just I go on my phone. I go on Spotify. Yeah, I hit genres. play and I put it right back in my pocket and I just listen to the music. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I guess yeah, you know. That question. That question is music. Like I still love music. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not as I like don't know. invested. In was there ever a point in your life where 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 you were listening to music and you were like, "Damn, this this is like a, a different sound and it's describing a moment in time, like right now." Like for me, I don't know if I can. I have that. songs that I feel that I could relate to a lot more than others. That's what I kind of look for is like the lyrical side and that's, what songs that I can like relate to in the storytelling. That's not stuff. what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the moment in time, not not about relation. I'm like talk- if I listen to a song, it throws <coughs> me back to like 2010. Yeah, when you put on Astro World and you, by Travis Scott, and for me, I remember my first apartment and you know, summer going out driving windows down type shit i would say honestly the biggest album that i can like just like remember just straight throwback to would probably be eminem's recovery yeah so what was that time like back in the day that was like i can do that too i was in like eighth grade just coming home playing modern warfare 2 with i was with you angela i was probably right when i just started same here you we were both talking about playing zombies i was when that album came out i don't think there was a second that i didn't have my speakers playing one of the songs i always had music playing that those are the moments that i'm talking about for like music 
so that that also is one of those times where I was like really excited for like music too then it was like oh the, this Eminem album is hard you know right and fucking that one uh, same same thing for you like like I can bring myself back to that time whenever I had that album I had the CD and I would always play the CD I had the CD I don't know about you but I had the CD bro I didn't have uh, like How'd you listen to music then? I I was quick to the iPod. You remember the fucking you had an white? IPod? You remember the white iPod that had the bottom that you could take the cap off and it was a USB? Mm-hmm. I had that one. I think that was the first iPod they ever made. Yeah, I, I know which one you're talking about. I yeah. had that one. Then my mom got a Nano, but I just stayed with that one. Then I finally got a Nano eventually, and I had that for a while, and I used that until I got a, the first iPod Touch. But yeah, I always just had like the iPods that I always used. Before that, I would like when I was younger, younger, I would use a CD player. Yeah, I'd use. I'd walk around my CD player and had a little clip. I had a case with all my CDs, yeah. Kids Bop, yeah, some yeah. M&Ms in there, or whatever. Yeah, that was no, back I, when I was younger, and I wasn't quite ready to listen to M&M stuff. But. No, yeah, I was. I was just saying because I, I had a lot of CDs, in like whatever I could find on the computer and. I, I, iTunes, iTunes. If I wanted to pay for them, right or LimeWire. Uh, that that was a risk. <laughs> we <laughs> use LimeWire. It fucked our computer up. LimeWire was a risk. LimeWire was. We a got risk. a lot of songs from it. Yeah. Before it got shut down. Yeah, it's. I did. I swear, bro. My mom was helping me one time with LimeWire, and we clicked on a link for a video, and and it. Just was not the right fucking video, it was bro. Not <laughs> what you were looking for. It was not. It was not my, Timmy playing with his. It was not. Toys. It, it was, was not something some, else. No, it wasn't an Eminem song. It was a, supposed to be some music video for something like that. Because I wanted it like on my PSP or something like that. Right, bro. I want a PSP or PS Vita so bad. Let me just say that I've been looking at those on Amazon recently. I have one. A PS Vita. Yeah. You have a Vita. Yeah. I bought it when I was playing Ark with Anthony. I'd sign in, go on Ark, do my imprints and stuff. When I was, you have was it over there in your room? It's somewhere in my room. I bet I could go find it right now. Bro, let me get let me get that. Honestly, I think I know where it's at. I got let a little, get that I got like a hard case for it and shit. Let me get that later, please. I will pay you too. Yeah, I played Ark on it, and that was it. Ark, like Ark Survival, evolved. Evolved. The 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 dinosaur the dinosaur yeah. building game you played on your PS Vita only for like m- minutes that, at a time. Might want to pull that bitch out before you give it to me and see if the PS Five does anything with it. I don't know. I wouldn't do anything with it. All right, well, give me that shit. So I have had the PS Five for how long now? And how? When was the last time I turned it on? I don't know. Exactly. I don't know either. It's been a couple know. weeks. Maybe a know. month or so. You need to play Ghost of Tsushima, though. Yeah. Uh, well, I that's the problem, fin- though. I still haven't finished Miles Morales. Also, that's another thing, though. Too. Well, you were liking that one. I was kind of impressed, too, whenever you were playing that. Because, like you said, you don't like single-player games. You I were don't. liking Miles Morales. Yeah, I like Miles Morales, yeah. You should get the Spider-Man game on your PC, and it'll look 20 times better with... Yeah. Oh, also, I think... Because I played that on update rolled out. PS4. Update rolled out for PS5. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I heard something about it. Is a uh, 144 frame uh, support now. So I don't know what that means. Basically, is it your TV that? Has? Yes, that's why I bought that TV. Okay. Damn, we gotta figure that shit out, bro. I've had 144 frames. Miles Morales, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But like, I want the, yeah, we gotta go find your PS Vita after this because uh, we were just talking about music, right? Right. And that's one of the things that I used to listen to my music on is my PSP. Is I had, uh, <laughs> I had all your music on your Bro, PSP. I had Three Days Grace. I had Lean Like a Cholo. <laughs> You remember Lean Like a Cholo? No. You don't remember Lean Like a Cholo? I've never heard of that. Oh my god. Those are like a... God, bro. It's just... 
for those that know, no, for sure. But like, uh, yeah, well, witch doctor. You know the witch doctor. That's no. ooh ee ooh ah uh, ah. Uh, ting, oh, ting, oh wah, I wah. I know the song. Yeah, yeah that's called the witch doctor. Ting tang wala wala bing bang. But like, if I get your PS Vita, bro, I'm gonna put so many fucking songs on that bitch, bro. Bunch of songs. Just yeah. carry around the Vita. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, I don't know. I might I don't know. I might bug out on it or some shit. I don't know. I've, I've, like I said, I've just been looking the past couple. I still days. want to get the Steam Deck. Yeah, I wish I fucking didn't save my money for the casino. I wish I fucking bought it. Bought it. I'm waiting for my Cause message. Because I could have. Because I could have. It probably would have been here by now. It, I probably. Oh, you been definitely would have had it because Fatal already has his. Oh, he has his. Yeah, he got one. He was playing on it a little bit. You finish your. Your pr- did you finish your payment, or did you only put five dollars down? I just put the reservation down. I never. Oh, okay. If I could have swore I paid that five dollar deposit for the one. I wonder if Fatal just I straight up paid I've, for it all and gets it. I think he just paid for it and already has it. But he, I think he got the message on Steam like you did, and then got it. Oh, okay. I, I didn't ask him, uh, I don't, or if I did, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what he did. I think that's the only way to get one. Right? Because I wonder if he just straight up, I figured, I didn't know he bought one. Yeah, he got one. Something tells me he straight up just, and he just dropped, bam! Uh, I don't, throw down on it, and then and then it gets shipped to you. Because if you put the $5 down, oh, oh really? Cause I, yeah, I, think, I think that's the only way you can do it is put the 5 down. Well, I think. I haven't you, looked into it, but. Well, if you finish your payment, you get. Like, I've yeah, never even seen that option. I only saw the five dollar reservation. I never saw it pay for it. Because I just did it recently. Because well, if I can get it right now, say say less. If I can get it right now, I'm, I'll finish my payment order. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I pay, if I pay right now, will it be shipped here in the next couple of weeks, or do I have to wait till I get the message? Yeah, I wait. Yeah, I, I, I never saw you could pay full. I never seen. I saw because I saw a post where it said like they're limited. Like, like to make them, you know, it's hard to make those. Well, so. yeah, that's how everything is. So it's only whenever it can be done. So, so I do want that too. Damn! If you give me your PS Vita, I'm gonna have that, the Switch, and a Steam Deck. You're not gonna know what to play. Oh, three phones. <laughs> Got a earphone with for the Vita for your music. Yeah. Got the other one on. I really use my Switch, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at the Switch games the other day. They got more shit that's updated, and they're getting games for sure. But uh, most definitely, that Steam Deck is doing things that the Switch can't. Uh, I just it's it's insane. I I I, I haven't even looked one. anything up on like unboxing or what they do or anything. I haven't looked them up at all. Yeah, I haven't. Well, actually, I've seen some TikToks on it. I've seen some TikToks on it. People actually uh, modify it and can actually turn it into a pocket computer. Basically, at that point. So you've got a web browser, you know. It's like running like, Windows on it, basically? Yeah. That's crazy. I can't remember. They had to do... Put Discord separate. on it? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, fucking Discord, bro. That's what I'm saying. If they put Discord on that thing. Imagine. Imagine. But, uh, I think we're rounding up near the time. Ah, oh, shit. I'm good with that time. I gotta go back and cut it and edit it, too. We're gonna go get this PS Vita. Um, we're gonna look for that. I appreciate you being on here, bro. Oh, yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you. you having me. Thanks for, and uh... Yeah, no, thanks, Peanut. He's passed out. Um, thanks for letting me live here. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, Don't uh, thank me. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, I've already thanked your your fucking family enough. I can't thank your family enough. But uh, yeah, no, yeah. Let's see what the future brings us. Fuck so yeah. thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.